Seoul is a busy, bustling metropolis. More than 10 million people live in this city. That's about a fifth of the entire South Korean population. So anything that makes living in this mega city just a little bit easier is bound to be welcome. For example, the days of cramming your wallet full of 1,001 notes, each one of these is worth less than one US dollar, are coming to an end. As long as you're paying at least one US dollar, you can now pretty much put everything on credit card. There are currently 117 million credit cards in South Korea for a population of just 49 million. Starting from the basics, your morning coffee. One cappuccino, please. Paying by card is just as quick as paying by cash. Buying your morning coffee by card may not be that unusual. So how about transport? Hello. Hi. Post office, please. Cash is still around, but it's definitely less popular. The Credit Finance Association says 57% of all consumer spending over the past year was done by credit card, and it's expected to rise. So I have a letter for the London Bureau to post. I don't have time to queue, but it doesn't matter here. Post offices in Seoul make it easy. Weigh your own letter, print your own stamp, then swipe your approval. Easy as that. So the quickest way back to the office has to be by subway. As long as your credit card has a transport chip installed, which many do, getting around the city is easy. The South Korean government offers tax breaks for those who use credit cards, initially introduced to avoid corruption and tax evasion. Different shops and services also offer their own discounts, meaning flashing the plastic makes economic sense. So it turns out it is pretty easy to leave your wallet at home here. Paula Hancock's CNN, Seoul, South Korea.